Hey, sweeties, I'm so excited. I just got my first live television cooking demonstration. It's going to be on Atlanta and Company, live and local Atlanta television. I'll go grocery shopping. I got my reusable tote bags. The link to this will be in the description box. And I'll put a copy of the actual demonstration right in this video. So you'll get to see the whole process start to finish, let's get into it. But first, please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. And y'all, let's go to the grocery store and get our supplies for our live TV demonstration. Let's go. The first ingredient we're gonna get is our garlic and herbs borzon cheese. You can use Alouette cheese is another brand of like a creamy herby cheese. And borzon even has a dairy free version so that if you're looking for something that is vegan, this is a great option for you. So this is a super flexible uh, recipe. You can substitute and omit as you like. We're gonna pick up some baby kale. You can also use baby spinach or broccoli. In that, add that to the cart. Cherry tomatoes, those are gonna be so juicy. And our chicken stock, you can use vegetable stock if you like. Both of those will work equally well in this recipe. Let's head to the meat department now and pick up our Italian sausage. When I first made this recipe, I used a pork Italian sausage, which is delicious. I used the mild one, but spicy, like a hot sausage would be great too. This time I've been using mild turkey Italian sausage. Very delicious. You can also substitute a plant-based crumble, some heavy cream or whipping cream, and our mozzarella cheese. And there are lots of vegan versions of cheese on the market. So definitely try some of those out. Now our gnocchi, make sure you get the gnocchi from the refrigerated section because these are going to be more tender than the ones that are with the dry pastas on the shelf. And these are made of potato. Some of them are gluten-free. This one has a uh, wheat flour in it. Some of them are vegan and some of them are not. So definitely check those labels. Do not buy the type that's over there with the dried pastas because those need to be boiled first. If you try to use this straight in your skillet, they, they're kind of tough. They don't quite work for this recipe since they need to be boiled first. It doesn't work for our one pot recipe, so don't buy these. Our last item are these julienne sun-dried tomatoes. They had so much great flavor. Let's check out and head home. Thanks so much to Ninja Kitchens for sending me the new Ninja Frost Vault. I'm gonna get this all packed up. I have some of those reusable ice packs to keep everything I need cool. This is the 30 quart uh, Frost Vault. They have a 50 quart one, which is ooh, a little too big for what I need. This 30 quart one is the perfect size. And what's cool about it is that it has this drawer here. So you can put in things that you don't need to be on ice, but you want to keep it cold. Like if you have sandwiches and things like that, that fits right in there. And there's plenty of room inside to keep ice cold beverages, or in our case, all our supplies for the cooking demonstration that we're doing. I do wish that it had wheels. That would make it a lot easier to roll it around if it had like a telescoping handle and wheels. But all in all, so far, so good. I do love that it has these big wide handles so you can get a good grip when you're carrying it. I'll do a full review on this after using it for, you know, I want the weather to get a little hotter because I really want to see how well it keeps the ice frozen. So. Stay tuned for that one, but let's get this packed up. I've got all my cooking equipment and my mise en place ready to go. We head to the studio where I shoot a little behind the scenes to put up on Instagram to let everybody know that I will be live 
and let's get to the broadcast right now. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, we're taking the guesswork out of dinner this morning with chef, foodie, and blogger, Demetra Overton. Hi! Hey! Welcome back. Thank you so much. I, it's, you have smelled, it smells delicious. Great. So good. <laughs> I can't wait to dig in. I was going to try it before we started, but I thought that would be uncouth, <laughs> chef. So, all right, let's talk about where your love of cooking came from. Uh, it's got to be from my parents. They love entertaining. Mm. And, you know, you grow up in a house where as soon as the sun's out, they will invite everybody over. Mm. So that's where I get my, my love of cooking. I love that. Community yeah. around the table. Absolutely. Yes. Um, I like to ask everyone this. What are three things you always have in your pantry? I uh, always have fish sauce. Okay. Fish sauce and soy sauce. Everyone nice. says something different. I love Potent this. flavors. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, little teeny tiny potatoes. Because they cook quickly, and it's something like you know we do a lot of pasta, this and that. Sure. But little potatoes, I think, give a little something, okay, a little something different, and they cook fast. Okay. And so frozen so shrimp. Frozen Always shrimp. Always keep well, not in the pantry, but in the freezer. Sure, sure, sure. Because you can cook them from frozen, yes. and they can thaw right in your if you're making a stew or something like I that. I love that. Yeah. Okay. There's plenty of times where Three I don't know what's staples. for dinner. Yeah, Chef absolutely. Overton said it here. Okay, what are we making today? Today we're making a one pot no chop dinner. This mm. is pan roasted gnocchi with Italian sausage and kale. Ooh, yes, please. Tell us <laughs> what we need ingredients wise. Well, we've already got our Italian sausage browned in the pan and we're using turkey Italian sauces but you can use pork if you like. Sure. And we've got our gnocchi which is a potato pasta mm -hmm. and make sure if you're using the gnocchi that you get the refrigerated gnocchi and not the one that's on the shelf with the dried pastas because those would need to be boiled. Good tip. And we're going to toast the, those up and get them a little bit brown. Okay, so do you, you don't boil that in water, you just put it right in the pan? Yeah, we're just going right oh. in the pan with this okay. and we're gonna toast it and then we're gonna build our sauce in the pan. All right. So we're gonna add the cherry tomatoes. Okay, cherry tomatoes, toss them in. Toss them in, just okay. kinda move things to the side and we'll let that go. Usually it takes maybe five minutes or so on medium high heat for those tomatoes to burst and start releasing some of their juices. I love this. And then we can add in our um, sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, sun-dried tomatoes. And those have a little oil as well. So you don't really have to have an extra oil um, because there's some oil from the sausage and then there's some oil from the sun-dried tomatoes. Okay. We're going to slide this to the side, make a little space for our borzon cheese. Yes, please. And that's got herbs and garlic in it. So that also adds another layer of flavor. So you're not chopping garlic, you're not mincing herbs. Everything is going right in. We like some nice flavorful things in there. Our chicken broth we can pour okay, in. Okay, here we go. And if you had to modify this, say if you're vegetarian, you can always put in what suits your needs. Yes, absolutely. There's so many great vegetarian and vegan options. You can use the uh, vegetarian crumbles instead of Italian sausage. The gnocchi is already, well, you gotta always check the package, but they're generally a vegan option. There are some great vegan cheeses and cream cheeses on the market. So yeah, there's so many options to modify this to your needs. Okay, great. What do you need next, Let's Chef? Let's put a little me... heavy cream in there. All right. That's just going to help us finish our sauce. And I'm sure that we we want to follow the order you're saying, or can you do it any old which way? Well, <laughs> Sorry, <I'm> not, <laughs> not the chef. <laughs> well, for this, you kind of want to follow the order because you want to get the gnocchi nice and toasted and the uh, sausage brown before you start adding the wet ingredients. Ah, nice, okay. And then we can add in our baby kale. Okay. And that's nice and tender, so it doesn't take long to cook at all. You can use spinach if you want. You can use broccoli, that can take a little longer to cook, so just keep that in mind. Okay. And we let that simmer down. We can pretend that it's wilted. All right, let's and pretend. And we can go ahead and put our cheese. We're using shredded mozzarella. Oh, this is, oh, I'm so excited. But now, how long could this keep? And can we freeze? Tell me how to keep it so I can make it last minute too, if I need to. Well, I haven't frozen it, but you can definitely make it a day or two in advance and put it in the refrigerator and then just heat it up. You might have to add a little more um, chicken broth or cream just mm. to add a little moisture to get the sauce 
back to saucy. Okay. And when you start formulating something like this, Chef, mm -hmm. is it a lot of trial and error or? So much trial yeah, and error. Yeah, I was going to say. So thank you for bringing it here for us. After all the error has been tried and we get to just enjoy your delicious That's food. That's right. Well, yes. actually the sun-dried tomatoes came out of that sun dry, uh, that trial and error because my son was like, hmm, this needs a little something. Oh, yes. So we said, oh, well, what are we going to do? Sun-dried tomatoes. So I we love that. added that and it really helps the dish a lot. Okay. And you're done. That's it. We have grated Parmesan cheese that you can add okay. at the end. I will do that. And I will plate us up another dish or two, Chef. Thank you so much for being here. Where can we find other recipes and dinner inspiration? YouTube is where I have all my recipes. So you can follow me at YouTube, Sweet Savant on YouTube, really. Sweet Savant everywhere. Instagram, I have a lot of recipes on there too. So all right. come see me on YouTube and Instagram. All right, thank you so much. And now that you all have dinner planned, enjoy. Cheers to you. All right, thanks, mm -hmm. Chef. Oh, well, what did you think about that, sweeties? Oh, my glasses are reflecting. That was a good time. I was extremely nervous. Um, but honestly, once I got going, I felt fine. I, I, I was in my element and cooking up a storm. And I fed the entire cast and crew. And everybody loved the roasted gnocchi with the Italian sausage and the, the creamy sauce. It's just always a hit. Um, I'm really happy I did it. And they have asked me to come back. So this is my first cooking demo. I did last week do another uh, appearance on Atlanta and Company. I did a um, just a sit down chat segment about staycations for spring break here in the Atlanta area. And that was a lot of fun. Um, if you want me to share that one also, let me know in the comments and I'll put that one up here too. Um, but I, I had a good time. <laughs> and uh, it was a long day because, you know, you're bringing all that equipment over and unpacking and you get there early to set up. But um, it just reminded me of my old personal chef days where, you know, I'm cooking on the spot like that. And uh, I had a good time. I'm really glad that I did it. And I'm happy to do it again. So look for me on your TV. <laughs> and please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and y'all have a delicious day.